I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer stage 4 um, in mid-August of 2010. I had been losing a lot of energy and going from doctor to doctor trying to figure out what was wrong and finally we nailed it and that's where I started. And I had six rounds of chemo. Actually, I had four first, a combination of carboplatin and toxyl. And things went very well. Um, my CA125 ovarian cancer marker started decreasing, so it all, it looked so well. In fact, I had a hysterectomy in mid-December and things continued to go well, so we were really excited. I came here in January in a wheelchair, and I was just so impressed with the facility, the staff, the caring, the, the holistic approach from Ann, the oncology nurse and facilitator, through the staff at the desk, my physical therapist Dawn was terrific, and it just, I knew they really cared about me, and they were there pushing, Dawn particularly, not so gentle at times, but she, I'm here because of her. My husband has been my caregiver, the love of my life, and has been just a tremendous support through this, and my church. Uh, we didn't feel any need to join a support group to, um, you know, to help us along, but we are in one now. We're helping getting it started at our church, actually, so we're now on the cusp of being supporting and supporters, but that's, uh, we know we can be helpful to other people because of our story. I went from zero to 95. Um, as I said, I came here in a wheelchair, and uh, my whole life was spent either in that wheelchair, in the bed, or at my office, which was my recliner. I do not work, but that was, that was my total existence. And Dawn gave me um, exercises to do at home, and I did those faithfully, except she only allowed me 10 minutes in my recliner morning and night. I went through withdrawal symptoms. It was really difficult because I had been a real couch potato. So that, by her gently forcing me to get up and go, I was able to get my energy back and start doing more things around the house. I mean, at first I couldn't, I could take care of myself with help getting into the shower, but I couldn't cook, I couldn't focus, I couldn't read, do crossword puzzles or any of the things that I love to do. So I was able to build up my endurance because of this program so that I could return to my normal self. I wasn't completely active, obviously, but I got rid of the wheelchair, walkers, canes, and was able to go on my own. The fact that St. Francis is faith-based, I think, means everything. I think one can tell from the staff that they are grounded and rooted and see the big picture. And it really helped to know that they were praying for me and that I was not just a number or another person in their program, but they knew me and cared about me. And I think, I think the fact that it was faith-based had everything to do with it. My message of hope would be to tell people that never give up. You just have to get out of that recliner and like the Nike commercial, just do it. That there, there is a silver lining and when you don't think it's possible to push yourself any further, each little step gives, or it gave me more encouragement that I could do it. It helped my stamina, my endurance, my self-confidence, and it's really helped me now because I have had to go back into chemo uh, two days ago, and I'm, I'm in such better shape than I was when I started last August with chemo, so I know when I could do it then that I'm going to be fine now, and that's a wonderful, hopeful thing. I would certainly encourage them to 
talk about this program, to get the brochure, and to, you know, plan for it. Now, obviously, they might not be ready for it right at the beginning. I certainly wasn't, but just to keep that as a goal in mind that um, they, can, they can get through what they're doing uh, with the power of prayer and their one, wonderful oncologist staff and things. And I, I think just to, keep, just to keep on trucking that the, you know, it's there. You just can't give up and feel sorry for yourself. I would just like to add that I was so very blessed to be able to be a part of this. The timing was perfect, and the uh, Dawn particularly pushing me along um, just helped me that I know I would never have done that on my own. I mean, I would have known it in my head, but that recliner kind of called me, and I, uh, it would have been too easy to just give in to that and not move on.